Good morning. This is John from the Springs Mennonite Church. It's good to be with you today. Here we are at the end of another week. I mean, time just keeps moving by. Here we are in October, and pretty soon the year's going to be over. Of course, <laughs> after the way this year's been, that's probably a pretty good thing. But nevertheless, you know, it's always good that time moves on. We we don't want to get stuck in one place. And too many times people are stuck. They don't know a way out. They don't have any real hope for the future. They don't know what to do. And and, and I've been there. I, I, I know it's not a fun place to be. So this morning, I'd like to share a scripture that kind of provides a sense of direction, if you will, for whatever happens to come along the path. It comes from Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 20 and then 23. 20 says, my child, pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. <laughs> you know, God is trying to say here, hey, look, pay attention. Listen up, guys. I got something worth listening to. Kind of reminds me of a teacher who trying to teach an important principle to the class and doesn't have their attention. Or maybe a counselor who's talking with someone and then asks the question, are, are you really hearing me? You know, it's just, it's so easy to not listen. It's even easier just to forget about it. Now, I'm not talking about losing your memory here. <laughs> Us guys get accused a lot of times by our wives of not remembering things. Well, that's probably true, but they don't remember too well easy either, but they just don't seem to know that part. <laughs> well, for whatever it's worth, God says, pay attention, listen. This is important stuff here. So now let's look at verse 23 and see what it is you're supposed to listen to. Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Let me read that again. Guard your heart above all else. For it determines the course of your life. <clears throat> what does it mean to guard your heart? You know, we don't talk like that much anymore. Um, we just, I don't know, maybe, maybe we've gotten too sophisticated. Maybe we're just not romantic enough. Maybe we're just not poets at heart. I don't know. But to guard your heart. Here the scripture is talking about the essence of who you are. To guard that inner place that's special. Maybe we could say guard your character or guard your integrity or guard the way you think or guard whatever it is that makes you, you. And you know, we're all unique. Nobody's like anybody else. <laughs> the good news is you only have to listen to one of me. <laughs> there isn't another one around. But we're all special, even though sometimes we don't feel like that. And then it says here, we're supposed to guard this thing. We're supposed to protect it. You get the imagery of, of putting your arms around and, and, and making a wall. But, but it's not a wall because a wall holds things in or holds things out. Our heart has to, it, it has to motivate everything we do. And it says, for it determines the course of your life. I look back, I, 
I never intended to be a pastor. Uh, it just never really occurred to me. Oh, I wanted to do something to help people. And, and I'm not real sure where that came from either, because as far as I know, there's nobody in my extended family that ever felt that way or even now feels that way. Um, there aren't any medical folks in my family, not, well, besides my, my children. Um, there aren't any, you know, spiritual leaders or counselors or social workers. I don't think there's anybody like that in my extended family. If it is, I don't know who they are. So somehow, some way, I got a different idea about life. And it changed everything, or it drove everything. Now, later on, I realized that God wanted me to go this direction instead of some other direction. But it all came from the same place. That was what my heart said. And, and as thrilling as a lot of other jobs seems like they would be, that's not who I am. Now, everybody doesn't have to be a pastor, that's for sure. And God gives you the passion for something else, and that's okay. But for me, this is how it turned out, and I am so thankful it did. <laughs> and maybe some others are too. But it says that your heart determines the course. It doesn't determine the specifics but it determines the direction. It's like a compass. It guides you. There's a, there's a great movie, Richard Dreyfuss was in it. It's about a teacher who didn't want to teach. He wanted to write music. Maybe some of you saw it. And in the beginning, the principal, when she retires, gives him a compass. And he said, what's this for? And she says, because you don't have any direction for your life. You don't have anything that shows where you should go. Well, the truth of the matter is he did, and so does everybody else. It's your heart. If you have a heart of gold, as they say, you're going to be generous. If you got a heart of hurt, well, you're going to be leery of everything. If you have a heart of, of happiness, you're going to show it. If you heart, have a heart of anger, you're going to show that too. You see, who we are on the inside determines how we act on the outside. Jesus even said that. It's what's on the inside that really matters. It's, it's where our, our focus is, where our sense of direction, where our sense of being is. And, and God wants it to be following him. Now, the world offers many, many other opportunities, and many, many people take them. I don't know what you've taken. I only know what I've tried to do. I haven't been perfect about it, but I've tried. And I think God wants us to guard our heart with his compassion, with his love, with his wording and word, so that our lives go the direction he wants. And you know, whatever God wants is always a whole lot better than what we want. So as we end this week, I will invite you to think about your life. Really, take a few moments. Where is it headed? Where does your heart tell you to go? If it's in the direction God's going, fantastic! And if it's not, well, maybe you want to think about that. Thanks for listening. If you have a prayer concern or a need, let us know. We'll do everything we can as fast as we can to try to help meet your need. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you again.